Hey, what's up? This is Jonas. Welcome to another domaining video. In this video, you will learn exactly how to buy and sell domains with confidence using a free tool called namebio.com. As you may know from one of my previous videos, there's four steps to the domain flipping blueprint. First, you find a domain, you buy a domain, flip it and you profit. This video is focused on the buying process. Once you've found a domain, you want to make sure that it's a good domain to buy so you don't waste your money and you want to make sure that it can be sold in the near future. And so that's why when you go through this whole video, you learn exactly what you need to know in order to buy with confidence. You'll know exactly how to use this tool like a pro in less than five minutes. I'll show you how you can know if a domain is likely to be sold before you buy it and how to avoid wasting money on domains that don't sell. You'll also learn here how you can find the niches that spend a lot more money than the average niche so you can focus in on what makes you the most money. So I'll show you namebio.com, the website. I'll also show you some messages from some of my students that ask me about a domain, whether it's good or not, and I'll break it down live, demoing namebio.com for you based on these examples so we can learn together on how to buy and sell domains with confidence. So here we have namebio.com. So this is what you can do with it. This is basically a website that shows the historical data of a lot of domains that have been sold in the past, not 100% of them, but a lot of them. So it's a great tool to see what actually has sold in the past on various platforms. And you can search by keywords. There's many settings here. As you can see, we have the keywords, we have placements, extension, we have pattern, venue, price range, category, subcategory, date range, and a lot of other things to keep it simple. And this is what I do. I only use these three options, keyword, placement, where the keyword is placed and the extension, the .com, .net, whatever it is. To give you an example, maybe you have a domain, including the word real estate. You would type in the keyword here, the placement, maybe that's at the end, whatever. And the extension, maybe that's .com. So this is an example. And what you'll get is a bunch of historical data based on these criteria. In this case, as you can see, we have a lot of records, about 858, that's a lot. And so you can see the price of every domain being sold, exactly what the domain was. If you want a big list, you can change this to 100 records and scroll through the list. You can also filter by price. So in this case, real estate domain, TorontoRealEstate.com sold for $140,000. Okay, that's some very useful information, right? Now, obviously, that's a big domain. We can do this with any type of domain. Uh, this example is quite good because the real estate industry, the real estate niche is quite good based on this historical data. So that's a quick uh, introduction to NameBio. Now let me show you how to use NameBio with five simple steps that you need to know. So I'll show you how to use NameBio.com in just a second. Here's the five simple steps that you need to know. You can write these down and whenever you want to do it for yourself, you just follow these five simple steps and that's exactly what you need to know. First step is identifying your main keyword in the domain. I'll demonstrate this in a second. Next step is using the right filters for namebio.com. Then you'll want to analyze the data and you'll want to determine if the domain can be sold before you buy it. That's why we analyze the data. And last step is just evaluating the best price based on the data. And once you've done all these five steps, you'll have complete confidence whether or not the domain you're looking at is worth buying, number one, and how much it can be sold and how fast it can be sold. So other than that, once you watch this video through the end, you'll know exactly what types of domains to go for, how to flip them without any effort, inside the secrets to what works super well. And at the very end, I'll also show you a bit more of my tips, like the softwares that I use to actually find the domains very easily 
But as I said before, this is just mainly focused on the buying process. So with that being said, let's go into namebio.com. This is where I am right now. And let's see how it works. And so to give you an example, let me start with this one. Bahamas wedding photography. Is that good or bad? First, as I shared with you before, the first step is finding the main keyword. What do you think it is? Is it Bahamas? Is it wedding? Is it photography? Is it wedding photography? What do you think it is? Well, in this case, this is a location plus niche type domain. We have the location that is Bahamas. We have the niche that is the wedding photography. The niche, in this case, wedding photography is our main keyword. So in that case, we would go here to keyword. We would type in wedding photography and on the placement, we will put it where the main keyword is. For this domain, it's at the end. We got Bahamas first and wedding photography at the end. And then we'll put in the .com because that's the extension. So now we use the right filters. We identify the main keyword, we use the right filters. Next is analyzing the data. So let's go ahead and click search. So here we got the data. This domain was actually sold for $836 by me. This is actually one of the domains that I purchased. And the reason why I purchased this domain was because I did my research. I used Namebio and I did this exact search that I'm just showing you right now. And what I saw was that we had a lot of domains with the exact same structure with the niche main keyword at the very end, weddingphotography.com. You can see there's New York, Hawaii, there's Portland, Phoenix, and a few other cities. And I can see all of these are selling for more or less anywhere from $100 to a few thousand dollars. GoDaddy evaluated this domain for exactly $836. So when I listed it, I just made that the price and it sold in 45 days without any effort. I just listed it and forgot about it. And 45 days later, I got an email like this from GoDaddy that said my premium domain had been sold. So um, that's all the five steps. We just went through it. Let's go ahead and take another example from one of my students. Now let's get serious. So I'm going to give you about five examples for some of my students and I'll show you how I use Namebio for each example. This example right here, the first one is for diets cure. So I'm going to go into Namebio and I'm going to type in my main keyword, which is diets. It's not cure. It's not diet. It's diets with an S. So I place that at the start because the main keyword is at the beginning of the domain and it's a .com domain. And here's the results that I get. A total of 27 results for this keyword. Now, immediately we have to disqualify some of these entries, such as diet scope, diet smoothie, diet doors, diet sweets. All these, as you can see, include a different main keyword without the S. It's diet and sweets, diet sauce diet smoothie diet scope you understand next i would look for similar words with our secondary keyword which is the cure we have diets cure weight loss diets weight loss is kind of similar to diets cure only a hundred dollars diets 101 a hundred dollars diets health 237 dollars so I don't get a lot of good signals from this domain. Also, common sense to me would say that diet's cure doesn't make sense. It doesn't sound good, at least to me. Maybe it's a good domain, but remember, only the great domains actually sell. I wouldn't bother with it. Too low value. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, next one is dogcaresupply.com. I instantly like it, it sounds good. 
but always, always, always go to name bio, find the main keyword that is dog care or dog care supply. Let's try, um, I guess that would be dog care at the start.com. So we got dog care.com, $20,000. Uh, that was sold two times actually for twenty thousand and thirty thousand dollars wow within a name span of just two months that's crazy okay nice but that's not our domain we have dog care supply so we have dog care services dog care advice similar domains but a significant less amount as you can see here a hundred and sixty dollars and three hundred and fifty five dollars so dog care supply could probably sell within those figures i would say that dog care supply is better than dog care services um not sure if it's better than dog care advice uh if i bought this domain i would probably list it for like 300 dollars. that's what it's worth so not a bad domain if you buy it for 10 dollars, that's a pretty good profit let's move on to the next one the next one is kind of funny datinghawk.com I know a lot of people when they get into domaining they want to find domains in the big niches such as health diet dating money all that stuff so they, they find all these broad keywords like dating which is fine but adding anything after it or in front of it is not going to make it a good domain i just know this instantly dating hawk makes no sense but let's just have a look dating is the main keyword it's at the start and it's a dot com there's probably going to be a few results. Uh, let me just wait for this ad to go away. Name bio is free, but it comes with ads. So you'll have to wait a little bit or you can upgrade to a pay plan. It's about $10 a month, I believe. Datinghawk.com. Let's find similar words that sound a little bit like hawk. Because most of the domains that I see here, I mean, there's a lot of entries that's good, of course, but let's just dive into the actual domains being sold. Datinglabs.com dating cam dating agent area network formula free cams wow stuff like this most of these domains make sense and sound good unlike dating hawk what the like what what is a dating hawk right that makes no sense um dating wow also kind of makes no sense we can see that make that sold for 234 dollars okay we can use that information what else doesn't make sense here dating Dashboard, I don't know what that is, but apparently that's sold for quite a good amount of money. Um, that's okay, cool. Dating to love, dating Cupid, dating. And so you can go through this list and try to see if dating hawk would be a good domain. To me, it doesn't make sense. So I'm instantly gonna disregard it. It sounds really bad. Who would buy that? And when you look at the results, you can see all the domains make sense. Dating scam, dating store, lounge, better. It's better words, better domain. Maybe dating hug is a good domain, but it will probably never be sold. Okay, next result. So the next one is Auto Insurance Agency Colorado. Okay, main keyword, what do you think it is? Of course, it's Auto Insurance Agency. So again, let's go to namebio.com, type in auto insurance agency it's at the start and it's a dot com domain let's go ahead and click search and there's literally no results instant way to know that this keyword is not good it's too long so let's move on to the next one okay next one camdroneservices.com let's have a look main keyword being cam drone not drone it's cam drone at the start and dot com so we only got one result and that's the <coughs> shortest version or one of the shortest cam drones.com only 200 dollars that means cam drone services would probably only be worth like 20 30 bucks not a lot i would disregard this as well so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to actually use Namebio before you buy any domain to make sure that the domain is worth buying and can be flipped in the near future for a profit. Also, make sure to use common sense. There are so many domains that are just being looked for and you know 
not much thought has been put into it, which is why you want to use the right tools to find domains. You want to listen to domaining podcasts, give you some ideas on what actually sells. There's also an app you can play called the Domain Game, which I have a video about. You can check that out on my channel as well. And if you didn't watch my full domaining step-by-step -step guide on the whole blueprint, the finer domain, buyer domain, flipper domain and profit, then you can watch that video right here. With that being said, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.